I'd love to say that I've tasted an awful lot of uh, Chateau Ozone, but I haven't. Um, it's jolly expensive and unfortunately just haven't sort of really seen that many bottles crossing my dining room table, which is a great shame because it is one of the most heavenly of the red Bordeaux's. Now, Chateau Ozone is based in saint Emilion town itself. It's in the sort of line on the limestone plateau and in the limestone plateau is where the winery and cellars are overlooking the great plain in front of saint Emilion. And um, there's always, and this is something I've noticed whenever I go there, there's always a crane situated, sticking out on this promontory because uh, Alain Vautier, the owner of Ozone, is always doing restoration to the great cellars and the, great, and the house and um, the winery and he's rebuilding it back into the state that it was uh, many, many, many years ago because there are cellars here that date back to Roman times. Anyway, um, Ozone is one of the most structured and majestic and noble and distinguished of the saint Emilion Chateau. It's a saint Emilion Grand Cru Classe A. It's one of the A's. There are only four A's in the whole of saint Emilion. I think it's a bit of a clumsy term, but, but bear with me. Um, it is one of the great uh, chateaux um, and uh, the others that make this grade are, are Cheval, Cheval Blanc um, and Angelus, of course. Um, and um, what, I, um, what I love about visiting this estate is that in my crummy little hire car, as I approach saint Emilion itself, I can see it high up on the rock. And then you really need to change down into first gear and take it very steady because it's a single track um, road that creeps up the outside of this uh, hillside and you pray that no one's coming in the other direction, otherwise you have to back 200 odd meters down a precipice to let them get by you. And once you're up there, you have this extraordinary view. Um, there's a second wine at Chateau Ozone as well, called uh, Chapelle Ozone, a great way to get into these wines because of course it's a lot cheaper. Um, and with Ozone, like all of the great wines from saint Emilion, you do have to be quite patient um, I think probably a minimum of 20 years before attacking a bottle and you're better off waiting for 30.